Brad Hall here, and today we've got quite a face-off. I've got two foam clog-like shoes, the Yeezy Foam Runner right here, and the Crocs Polex Clog. They are gonna go head-to-head -head in a variety of categories. Then I'm gonna tally up all those winners, and we are gonna conclude which one comes out on top. So that's what we're doing. It's coming up now. The Foam Runner is one of my favorite shoes that's come out in the last couple years. I love the way they look. It's a fairly weird shoe, but it does look great on foot in my opinion. And I love wearing this one. So in the looks department, it gets a really high mark from me. The Crocs Pollux Clog, it does look like a futuristic, kind of organic looking croc, almost like a normal croc that's mutated. I love the way the ridges and the holes seem almost like they're hand drawn on this one. They're loose, they're free, they're fun. Probably the only thing that I'm not sold on is this strap in the back. I'm just not a huge fan of kind of what it's doing back here. And I don't love these, these attachment pieces. So that's the only thing that doesn't quite sit well with me. But other than that, very nice looking. So two total knockouts in the looks department, but one of them, it just rises a little bit higher. And that is the foam runner for me. I've worn the foam runner a ton over the last year and a half or so. So I have pretty good experience with its comfort. This one I have yet to wear, but I'm excited to wear it. So comfort, we're gonna just try our best to figure it out right now. I will say the foam runner is very comfortable. The foam, it's nice and squishy, it's light, just feels good. The foam on this croc, let me get this in here. You can see, not quite as squishy. And in the forefoot, let me do, let me get both of these going. I would say the foam runner feels a lot thicker in the forefoot. Yeah, definitely a lot thicker. So my gut says this foam runner is going to be more comfortable, but like I said, I'm gonna try this one out. I'll report back if I find anything different, but so far we'll tentatively give this category to the foam runner. As you can see the hole on the Crocs pair, it is larger than the hole on the foam runner pair. Every time I put on the foam runner, I do have to take a little bit of time to get my foot in there. If you just try to slide it in, you're gonna catch the back and you're gonna kind of smush it down and that's that's probably gonna wear out the back. So you've gotta do a little bit of maneuvering. Now I've tried the Crocs pair on already and this gaping hole, it's very easy to get into. So ease of entry, I am giving it to the Crocs pair. On top of the Pollux clog, you've got 12 points of entry, a variety of sizes, some of them a little bit larger, but a bunch of them very small on top here. The Foam Runner has 13 points of entry on the top, also in a variety of sizes. Now the layout of the holes is pretty different on these two shoes. The Crocs pair, you can see that probably in the most critical impact area, it's solid, there are no holes there. The Foam Runner, it's just all, all holes on the fleshiest part of the top of your foot. If you do drop a knife, there are obviously gonna be some other factors. How big is that knife? How sharp is that knife? Now a quick side note, the Foam Runner, it does have more holes along the side, some pretty big holes in the back here, the Crocs. Not as many holes, it's got a few holes in the forefoot area. Not really much going on back here, a small hole here. It is possible you could drop a knife, it could bounce off the ground and get into one of these side holes. That is possible, but it's a lot more unlikely. So with that said, overall, the Crocs, protection up top, slightly less holes, this is the winner. I've worn the Foam Runner a great deal and it's held up really well. This is my most worn pair and you can see, let's get this on camera. The bottom tread, it is starting to wear off, but this tread was not a huge factor in this. It didn't offer that much traction out in the real world. So overall, it's holding up nicely. Like I've said, I haven't worn the Crocs yet, but I do think it's gonna hold up even better because 
These sections down here, they're actually a harder rubber material. So these should be pretty durable and last longer than foam. So I think this one is gonna hold up a bit better. So with those categories, I've got these shoes at a tie, maybe a flaw in the system. I should have added a fifth category. So that was, that was poor planning on my part, but I will say if I'm just going off of which I prefer the looks on, and that is the most important thing, I'm gonna give the nod to the foam runner. It's just the strap back here it does does kind of throw me off on this one. Everything else I like a lot. It's just this strap. So foam runner for me, but both very nice foam shoe clogs. I hope this was all helpful and thanks for watching.